to the Grizzle Geek Reacts to Ruby. I'm Mike. I'm Shane. I'm Kirsten. I'm Doug. And we're back with another... Uh, hot single. Hot, yeah. <laughs> we're feeling saucy because we got <laughs> headsets now. <clears throat> so no complaining about Shane not hearing the lyrics anymore. That's right. We got no excuses now. <laughs> no excuses. Um, also, it's been a while. We're back now. Kirsten's got green hair. What? There. <laughs> and we're here with a death battle that we're watching. It's a DBX. DBX. A DBX is just like a death battle, except without any of the analysis. It's just a fight, and there's a winner. Wow. Uh, oh. Okay. That, interesting. But, but it's cool animation. It's by Rooster Teeth, so. Okay. Got it. So this is going to be Blake no versus Inuyasha. Inuyasha! Kagome! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Basically, this is all the people who get bored who work for Death Battle, animate their own stuff. Got it, I think. <laughs> all right. I believe it. Cool. Uh, all right, so here we go. Ready? Are you ready? Uh, uh, go! Set's on. All right. Locked and loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my arena where there's no rules, no research, only bloodshed. <laughs> I am Ringmaster, your announcer, your host extraordinaire for this extravaganza. And let me welcome you to like his hair. <laughs> so scroll. of the ages, cats, or dogs, which <laughs> In one corner, we have the dual sword swinging, the gun shooting, cat ear ninja, Blake Belladonna! And in the other corner, we have the Sundere, the half demon, the Akita, Inuyasha! Let's size up the competition. First off, both of them have amazing animal traits. Blake, with her fondest heritage, can see in the dark like many animals. <laughs> That's not all. She's easily distracted by laser pointers and even a tad anxious around dogs. <laughs> Talk about scratching off all the cat girl checkboxes, am I right? <laughs> However, this won't stop her from kicking your ass. Because this bell is stronger than a beast, tougher than a stale baguette, and faster than your cat at 3 a.m. <laughs> shadow clones of herself. So, if you're having a hard time keeping up with her, well, it may not even be her. <laughs> On the other hand, Inuyasha is half demon dog, half human, which means he's strong enough to put your average gym bro to shame, durable enough to consider everything a flesh wound, and fast enough to dodge the chocolate, which is mama's heat-seeking house slipper if you don't hobble Espanol. <laughs> <laughs> he throws away his human decency and goes rabid animal form. <laughs> Let's talk about their dope ass swords! Blake Sword, the Gamble Shroud, can transform! It goes from Big Ass Cleaver to Katana with a built in gun! And if that isn't enough, she can whip it around on a ribbon! Pretty useful for some long range decapitating action! <laughs> On the other side of things, Inuyasha has the Tessaiga, a sword forged from his father's tooth. Ugh, pretty disgusting when you think about it. <laughs> Inuyasha create destructive winds and even make tornadoes. And if that's not enough, it shoots diamond spears. Demon magic is pretty nifty, isn't it? Now I'm sure this pair will rain down one hell of a fight. So without further ado, let the exhibition begin! <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> <laughs> Blake's going to no more pixels. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh. 
They're both immune to physics. She never used her shadow. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. True, but I don't think that would have saved him going full feral. <laughs> Unless he did it on a shadow. Full before. feral demon dog. Yeah. 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 True. Unless he did it on a yeah. Unless he did it on a shadow claw. I but. don't know. I have feelings about it. I feel like, first of all, Inuyasha used his like demon spears, mm -hmm. and she just like dodged them like they were no big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't. <laughs> That many spears, I don't think you can just simply dodge it. Right, yeah. with it. But then also on the other hand, Inuyasha is like actually tearing apart and using landscaping as though, he, or landscaping, but like, yeah. you know, the environment. Area, environment around him to like help with his attacks. And I'm sorry, but Inuyasha, like throughout the show, is commonly like Not that degraded smart. on how it, unintelligent he is. Yeah, like, yeah. He's dumb. The entire show, he's yeah. dumb. It just only reminds him how dumb he could be. Yeah. He yeah. doesn't think things through. He's irrational. So I don't think that he would be but he's intelligent also about those. Pretty things. much impossible to hurt, though. Yeah, but maybe if you don't like, I don't know. I think that Blake has the intelligence to go up against that. Right. If she gives herself enough time, she could figure something out. Because Demon Spears could have been a good time to use her, like her, her semblance. For sure, yeah. Well, I think this was a, just an easy animation for she was able to dodge or deflect them all sure. because they regularly deflect bullets That's in sure. rubies. So yeah. a few spears flying at her is not going to be an issue on that front. Yeah. But yeah. In fact, they're so immune to bullets, you make you wonder why everything's a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've never seen a gun. Have you ever seen a gun actually hurt anything? Yeah, but <laughs> you still have to expend aura to, to deflect it. So That's true. Mm -hmm. That's all they cool. Yeah. Or the bleeding pellets. If it's a, if it, yeah, if random battles are all just a matter of attrition, whose aura breaks first, well, yeah. guns help. Well, and you got to remember, the average person isn't fighting somebody with an aura; yeah. they're fighting grim. Sure. And they some grim are hurt by it. They, they they deflect bullets with hit points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured this was the way, but I like that it was a pretty close battle. Yeah. The yeah. percentage. Percentages were pretty close. Yeah. And it was. Fine. I mean, it's cool the just the clever moves they came up with, yeah. even if he wasn't supposed to. I'm curious to know if that percentage was what the people thought they would vote, or who they wanted to to win. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't know a whole lot about these DBXs. So. Yeah, I think it's I think it's more of a popularity contest. Well, I don't know if it's a popularity contest because that's what it kind of seemed like. like yeah, they wanted for it to be that close, I would think. So because yeah. whether people voted that way or that's the percent chance of that him winning. Yeah. Like in the other one where they break down the odds. Like if there was a hundred yeah. battles, he would won fifty whatever it was two percent. I think that people voted. They oh, wanted maybe. him to oh. win fifty. Yeah, because I'm pretty more. sure like the whole point of these is no actual analysis. Yeah. 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 It's just okay. Well, give me a fight, and I want X to win. Yeah. I'm kind of curious why they chose to do eight bit versus fully animated. <laughs> Uh, a lot of the like the death battles, the early death battles were eight bit too. They do, they do well, yeah, but why one of them was one and right. one was the other? What was the, the point? Because the death battles usually have both of them eight bit, both yeah. of them fully animated, both of them. They're both yeah the same thing. This is like it was a weird toss up. Like they just use engines from two different video games. Maybe they intended <laughs> like, and them to be separate battles. They didn't actually use the the animation for it so they just found some two different animations of how them I'm better. betting since it's Rooster Teeth they just had uh, assets from Blake laying around that they could use they didn't Probably. have to make yeah. them yeah, yeah. yeah. like I just take these assets and you can use them in your animator and... mm. true anyways yeah it was fun yeah, yeah. there we go yeah. I pretty much how we all pretty much agree with it with the outcome <laughs> yeah. yeah 
Meh, what happened? What happened? Lincoln a better chance? I don't know. I think she had a better chance at lasting a lot longer, or at least inflicting some sort of damage on him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. You guys are just half demon, though. Yeah. Well, yeah. you gotta look at Grim or kind of demonic. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know. I've I seen think Inuyasha do some crazy. A little closer than that. Yeah. Yeah. Inuyasha does some crazy stuff. Yeah. And like his demon magic is like the ultimate MacGuffin, whatever he can. <laughs> well, it's not like he can create anything, though. He has limitations to what he can do. And his sword is far better than hers. That is true. So, I mean, <laughs> when you get down to the weapon, oh, why do I know so much about Inuyasha? <laughs> Although, I will note that he did get arrow stabbed into a tree for That's like a, a million years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, true. like, so she one get, bullet. She got the <laughs> magical arrow. <laughs> Or just, right, just really right. good aim with a bullet. Like. That's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd like to see her more outsmarting him because maybe you also like more cat dog. I think you so. Leave too. Him cat dog stuck in a sword stuck in him. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna outsmart him then. <laughs> okay, guys. There you go. Tell us below what you think of the of this battle. Who do you think should have won? Um, was it correct? Do you think uh, the percentages were close because they were popularity contests, or do you really think she has that much of a chance? Let us know, and as always, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and if you want to support the channel and the things we do here, Doug, how can they do that? Three links in the description down below. One to our Teespring store, which none of our wearing, none of us are wearing our shirts, but they're cool. Check them out. <laughs> <laughs> two, two is shop through our Amazon affiliate link, probably the best and easiest way you can support us. Just click on that link first, do your normal Amazon shopping, and we get a little kickback. And three, you can check us out on Patreon. All right, guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time with some more Ruby goodness. Bye.